Hey guys, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode is going to be changing out the coil in this old uh, Husqvarna 350. Um, I got online and uh, and got a new coil for it, so we'll pop it open here and see what we got. Um, it had never really bothered me too much to uh, to run this thing without the without the stop working, but uh, it mattered to I guess other people looking at the saw. So I guess if I ever want to sell this saw. And, uh, and have it be, you know, truly 100%, I should probably go ahead and replace the, replace the coil. So we'll go ahead and do that today. Um, this is, uh, this is what a coil looks like right here. Um, this is uh, two screws that hold it down. So we'll just jump right in here and, uh, and start taking the saw apart and getting it going. Welcome to man time. All right, so inside of this cover here is where our coil is going to be. So let's start there. And you can see we got some rain this morning. So it's going to be a little difficult to work out in the field today. And so we'll get some maintenance stuff done around the house here. All right, just looking over this old wiring, um, I wanted to check for continuity between the uh, between the between the system here and these these wires, and I should have probably started here, right? Because this could have been a really easy fix. What I found was uh, between the end of this black wire here to the other end of the black wire, I've got continuity, but on the blue wire, I found um, no continuity when I went end to end here and uh, and this plug end just fell right off so it turns out that uh, that w it was actually this wire that was causing it to um, be faulty because for it to shut off and close the uh, spark off this circuit would need to be completed on either side of this coil and that wasn't happening due to the due to the wire so I'm just going to go ahead and strip that up put a new plug end on there and um, we should be back in business so we got some new connectors here, and it looks like it's a standard connection. So we'll just uh, twist it up and slide it in here. And crimp it down. Okay, so from here, let me see here. Yeah, that's going to work. So I'm just going to go back in with the old coil. Um, after doing some troubleshooting there, I just found out this wire, you know, wasn't making a connection. So we'll, uh, we'll put it back together and see how it works.
so I uh, just took the spark plug out and we'll go ahead and test now um, to see whether that kill switch is working or not by the spark. So we'll, uh, we'll put it in the off position. No spark. On position. And I'm getting spark there. So let's try it again here. No spark. And spark. So there we go. Uh, successful fix. It just turned out it was the uh, the blue wire there uh, had a had a break in it. While we're in here working on the saw, let's just do a couple other um, maintenance things to it here. Um, when it started running like it was kind of lean the other day out in the woods um, typically after that happens there's some sort of scarring or there can be some scarring on the uh, on the cylinder or, or something on the piston so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, while I've got well I've got the plug out of there I'm gonna pop the exhaust off That's going to be our heat shield. Everything looks all right there. Might take and wallow that out just a little bit. Got some corrosion there. But we'll uh, bring in a little closer and look at this here. So we're looking inside of there at the piston. And we just want to run it up and down a few times wow that's uh, that's smooth as a baby's bottom in there uh, no scoring yeah so that all looks fine good deal all right we'll put it back together and uh, and then try it out and see how it does here after we blow all this stuff out and maybe um, wallow that out just a little bit to give us some more flow through there. So here it is after we've uh, fixed, or what we think fixed, the uh, coil on here. So we'll pull our choke out, push our choke back in, decompress. Alright, I'll be through. <laughs> oh boy, that feels good. I've had this saw for 10 years. That button's never worked, and I just, I guess it's one of those things that uh, you, you think you check the wires, and um, you just kind of get used to it, and that's just the way it is, and I don't know. I, I thought I had checked those wires, so that's why I ordered the coil. A little further investigation and questioning myself, um, there, was a, there was a quote on a movie I was watching, um, said, it was a quote by Mark Twain, it said something about... Uh, knowing you're wrong and uh, or thinking you're wrong and not investigating or something about knowing you're right I don't know it was <laughs> it was a Mark Twain quote uh, but so I, I thought I knew right the point is I thought I knew uh, and I was almost certain that I had checked that wire and I didn't and so when I um, 
you know, just went about my business, didn't want to spend the money on the coil, and uh, turns out if I would have just gone back, double checked myself, I could have saved myself 15, 20 bucks or whatever it was on that new coil. So, uh, all of you out there in, uh, in man time land, um, double check yourself, and maybe it'll save you some money. But uh, chainsaw's back up and running. I'm going to get it uh, sharpened up out in the woods, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today on man time, guys. Get out there, have you some man time too.